CataractCoach.com. Pars plan a tap for aqueous misdirection, resolving the posterior pressure to deepen the AC and fix that eye's prolapse. Watch carefully. Rex is done. Here comes a hydro dissection. Big cannula there. And fluid wave goes across. Look at the incision. Look how much viscoelastic escapes. All that viscoelastic that came out of the eye has been replaced by BSS. Irish prolapse, AC shallow, pressure of the eye is sky high. The eye is firm now. What do you do? Now, the main question here is, where is the pressure gradient? Is there high pressure in front of the posterior capsule or behind it? So if it's in front of the posterior capsule, you can have a case where you do the hydrodissection and there's fluid trapped between the back of the nucleus and the, the posterior capsule. In that case, simply just rock the nucleus back and forth to release the trapped fluid. It'll resolve this. Go to the para, enter the eye, rock that nucleus back and forth, get some motion, it'll release the trapped fluid. And there are many videos on cataract coach that show how to do this. Go to cataractcoach.com, type in iris prolapse. Come on, you know how to do this. But in this case, I think the surgeon is suspecting that there's some zonular weakness or a gap in the zonular support, which has allowed the, the BSS that went in the eye to go around that gap and into burger space in, behind the posterior capsule, basically collecting fluid in the anti-hyloid space. That's, the, this, that's what the surgeon's thinking here. Now, I know the video was not in high definition, and you know I love high definition videos, but I had to show you this because I don't have another video of this exact maneuver. So I want to show it to you. So again, going inside the eye and trying to sweep it back in is okay, but that's just a temporary thing. It's not going to work because think about it. It is a pressure gradient. You got to resolve that pressure gradient. So again, pushing the iris back in the eye, it's a good attempt. But I think what's really going to solve this is you got to release that pressure gradient first, and the eyes will want to go back inside the eye. So a surgeon here is thinking what to do, and I'm really impressed with this surgery. It does a fantastic job for this case. That's why I really wanted to show you the video, despite it not being in true high definition here. And so what he's going to do is he's going to go and measure and use a PARS plane of tap. So going in with an empty syringe, using a small gauge needle, probably a 25 gauge needle, and going into pars plana and aspirating some of the fluid that's collected. That will resolve the pressure gradient. And so there's the needle. It's gonna go in. It's gonna measure appropriately. There we go. And it's going in pars plana, like you're doing an intravitreal injection. Obviously, I like that it's gonna go far back enough so that it's not gonna hit the lens or the lens equator, etc. So here we go, calipers coming in to measure. Another pearl is in your syringe, put a little BSS in it first and move the syringe back and forth so it's not just an empty syringe that's kind of stuck. It's already a little bit lubed up with the balanced soft solution in there. And you're going to just aspirate, so measuring uh, at least 3 millimeters, probably about a 3.5 millimeters back in most eyes. So there's 3.5 millimeters back, getting a good idea where you're going to do this. Zoom out a little bit and then taking that needle and aspirating some of the fluid out. Now you don't need to aspirate so a ton of fluid. It may be a fraction of a cc. So going in with the needle here, you may need extra anesthetic. If this patient is being just done under topical anesthesia, there's the needle, you're not gonna see it. You also sometimes wanna mark the needle itself so you know how deep to insert it. You aspirate on the plunger and that will take out some of that fluid that's accumulated there. You can also do this with a pars plana anterior vitrector. Just do little bits at a time. So once that's aspirated out, look, you can see the AC already deepened, which looks great. So come out of the eye here. Another pearl is to pull the conjunctiva aside and then do it so that the hole in the conjunctiva is not directly above the hole in the sclera. So there we go. Now that that's resolved, look, even more fluid is leaking out from that, that uh, parts plane of tap site. More BSS is coming out. So, Great call on this in this case. Beautiful call. I like the judgment here. So clearly you were right. Fluid was trapped there in the anterior hyaloid area. And now look, the iris, it wants to go back in there. It's easy. And the AC is nice and deep now. Now you can continue your case. The rest of the case should be pretty straightforward. And the patient will have a really nice outcome. Be sure to also check though, you did have that parts plane of sight. Make sure you watch the patient in the post-op period. Make sure there's no you know, entry site break there. Make sure your positioning was appropriate. And you know, certainly look at the retina in the post-op period. 
But that's a real nice outcome here. So if you ever have a case like this, you definitely got to learn how to do all these techniques. So ask yourself, where is the pressure gradient? Where's the trap BSS? And in like this case, if it's trapped behind the posterior capsule in burger space where the antihyaloid face is, if it's trapped there, use this needle, do a parge plane atop, it will definitely work. And now look, the rest of the case is pretty routine. So great case, thank you for sharing, and I'm sure we all learned a lot from you.